What's going on fishing buddies? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna challenge you to get out on the beach and see just how accurate your surf fishing cast is. Let's get it out there! Guys, I want to start off talking about weights. So I'm always 90% of the time using Sinker Guy Spudnik's three ounce. Why three ounce? Obviously, today I do not need three ounces of weight. What I've found is if I'm constantly, consistently throwing the same weight, then my muscle memory builds. So out here today, I can get away with a two ounce pyramid, no problem. Um, so I'll throw a two ounce pyramid all day today. Tomorrow I come out and let's say it's rough. Now I'm throwing a four ounce pyramid, right? I'm never building muscle memory on my cast. So 90% of the time I stick with the three ounce Spudnik. Do I always need a Spudnik? No, they're just, they just work. They're effective. Among many advantages with the Spudnik, one thing I found like during the fall run, the spring run, when there's a lot of anglers out here, a lot of lines get crossed. The pyramids are on, the current's pushing. Anglers, you know, they're, they're not that far from each other on the beach because everybody's out here fishing for Pompano. So the Spudniks kind of avoid that. You can get out there, you can stick your line, even in conditions like this, your pyramid will tend to drift and you're gonna drift into other guys' lines, which might cause issues, might not. I mean, it happens. We pretty much know it's gonna happen out here, but just to be kind of courteous, the Spudniks are great. Wherever you throw this guy, it's gonna stay. So you have a three ounce, what I'm using 90% of the time. Two ounces, I play around with these sometimes up close for whiting and stuff. Again, when there's a lot of anglers out and I don't want, sometimes, you know, those with those little two ounce pyramid weights, uh, bigger whiting will go on it. It'll it'll cross it'll cross lines. It'll run down the beach. Pompano for sure. So sometimes when I'm just playing around up close on like light tackle, I'll throw these little two ounces on. And then in like super rough conditions, when I'm out here fishing, I'm throwing a four ounce. And really for me guys, if I'm throwing a four ounce sinker guy Spudnik and it's not holding, I'm going home. The sinker guy has found these rings to transport the Spudniks. This was an issue when I first started using this, it kind of steered me away from them. Like, where am I gonna put all these weights with all these little spikes everywhere? Um, I was afraid they were gonna put, poke holes in my bag. So Chip, the sinker guy has come up with these rings. They're stainless. I've been using these same ones for months and there is absolutely no rust on them. They just pop right off. You can put your sinkers on them right back in your little cutting board on your beach cart and you just screw it right back in. All right, let me get to the point of the video. I'm getting off track. Today we're gonna, I'm gonna test my accuracy. See if I can hit some marks. I'm gonna use this cooler so I can kind of see it because I'm gonna get further and further away and I am just gonna make a nice size circle around the cooler to represent like a hole or something out there in the Gulf. Um, you can spot these holes, it'll be darker water. So it'll be nice clear water. And then you'll see kind of a dark hole that's deeper water. And so that's what we're targeting out here. We're trying to put our baits in those holes because that's where fish will kind of hide out and ambush and feed. 
So this whole, this uh, circle is going to represent a hole. I'm going to see if I can hit it. We're going to do a three cast today. We're going to do the short, the mid range, and the long cast. Uh, I'm pretty confident on the short cast, I believe. I could be wrong, but uh, I'm interested to see the long cast. Sometimes we'll see a hole way out there, and you really got to you got to put some back into it to get it out there. And it's hard for me to really tell if I'm in that hole or not. So this is gonna give me a good kind of viewpoint of how accurate my casts are. We're gonna start, start with just the, the little short, my little short cast I always do right off the beach. I'm always lining up east to west. Four rods, two 10 footers, two 12 footers. I think I'm gonna bump my 10 footers up to 11 footers eventually. And once I do that, I'll explain why. But I set up east to west, short, mid-range, long, and then real long cast. And when I say real long cast, I'll wait out and try to put it past that first bar. First attempt on the short cast, I was heavy. I went over the mark. Let's go check it out. All right, here is the hole and my line. I am way over. That's my little short range cast that I thought I was gonna be accurate on. I mean, I am a good, I would say 10 feet past the hole. All right, let's reel this up and check it again. Here's another thing about the, the Spudniks, guys. You see how they bury in. When I first started using these, I was hesitant because I thought they were gonna stick in and this whole arm was gonna be sticking up out of the sand and scaring fish. But once these hit and you tighten the line, that arm goes under the sand like that and you can't even see them. I wouldn't have been able to see this if it wasn't for the pink frisky fins here. That's how I was able to spot it. All right, we're gonna go with attempt two, short cast. I was able to put that one in the hole, but I mean right on the edge. Like I'm not coming anywhere close to the cooler. Coming down second cast on the short. As you can see, I am in the hole. But I mean, I'm right on the edge. The middle, the cooler's representing the middle. But I'm in there, and that's a big hole. And I'm almost missing it. So that's interesting. All right, I have moved the sand spike down the beach. We're gonna attempt a mid-range cast, and I'm trying to keep this as realistic as possible. <clears throat> For my, my short cast and my mid-range cast, I'm using my 10-foot rod, so that's what I'm gonna do here. When we get to the long cast, I will break out the Frisky Fins 12 footer because that's what I use for the long cast. All right, attempt one, mid range cast. way over here's my hole oh buddy i missed that hole by about 15 feet i was in the hole but way past it all right let's try that one again all right attempt two guys on the mid-range I think that is right on the back edge. <laughs> if I got it in there, I'd be surprised. I think it went a little over. Let's go check it out. All right, attempt two on the mid range. I'm definitely in the hole. I am just a couple feet over. 
which is not bad. Couple feet over, you see there's my, my bottom float, there's the edge of the hole, but I am in the hole right next to the cooler, which is promising. All right, we're done with the 10 footer. Surprising, I thought my short game was gonna be more accurate. I'm a little heavy on the cast, but this is great to know. At least I know that now. So we're gonna trade out this 10 footer. We're gonna grab the Frisky Fins 12 footer and hit some long casts. I think I'm on. This guy moved down the beach for the long cast attempt. We got a good distance. I don't know if you can see the cooler down there or not. But we got a heave to hit it. All right, attempt one on the long cast. Again, Frisky Fins Custom. These are on Ninja Tackle Blanks. 12 footer. This is what I'm using every time for long cast, real long cast. So I want to be accurate. Oh, oh, I think that was money. That's a long walk. Uh-oh, I think I'm short. First cast on the long. Yeah, buddy, I'm short. I thought it hit. I'm about, I'd say, 10 to 12 feet short of the hole. When resetting these, Another little tidbit is if you just knock the sand out of little grooves there, they'll hold a lot better. The sinker guy spudics are superior in my opinion to any other ones. I've never had an issue with these guys not holding. Um, these little rubber arms here are perfect. A lot of them use the little beads. The beads fall off. I've never had one of these fall off. They've always hold. I just knock the sand out of those little grooves and they're good to go. Attempt to long cast. Oh! Bullseye. Was attempt to, no it's short. I thought it went in. It's about the same as the last one. I'm going one more on the long cast. <laughs> I'm cheating. I told myself I was just gonna do two and two and two. But I feel like I can hit this. Let's give it a shot. Boom. All right. I am pretty sure that's in. I just had to give it a little extra butt. Where's it at? Okay, here it is. All right, look at here, guys. Right on the edge. I can't see these sinker guys. Right on the edge. So my weight is in the hole, and my base are sticking right outside the hole, which in reality is the ideal spot you want to be. Um, because these predator fish will hide in this in these deeper holes. This this will be banked up like this. So the fish will be kind of hiding there. Little bait fish are swimming around. They can come out and ambush. So that is like a money shot. I wish I could do that every time. There you go, guys. <clears throat> How accurate is your cast? <laughs> That's a good way to find out. Um, this idea came to me about six months ago. Uh, the sinker guy, I was watching one of his videos and he was talking about casting into hula hoops. Um, actually throwing hula hoops out into the surf when it's calm like this and trying to hit the hula hoops. And I was like, what a great idea. Like you, you will find out if you're hitting your marks or not. Um, today's video guys is brought to you by the sinker guy. He is a supporter of mine. So if you're looking for weights, sinkers, he carries a lot of stuff at his shop. I'll link his website below. Super fast shipping. 
super nice guy. He is one of my connections in the Northeast Florida area. Um, once I got connected with Fish Bites, I kind of expanded in that area and I've met so many cool people, the Ocean Waves people, the Sinker guy, Mark Buford from Florida Surf Tackle. Just a great group of guys up there, the fishermen, they, they want to teach, they want to learn. So you guys check the Sinker guy out. Again, I will link his Facebook and his YouTube channel. He has a lot of great instructional content on YouTube. You guys stick around for the fishing. Oh, oh, there we go. Come on in here, buddy. Oh yeah. Keeper size whitey, start the morning. Got a lot of slack in this one. I forgot this line was even out. I forgot this line was even out. Oh, what do we got? What do we got? Oh no, my other one's going off. But yeah. Oh yeah, he's on there. He's trying. Oh man, I gotta get to that line. Oh, I'm crossed up. Okay. All right. Got a hit. Got a hit on my 12 footer. Doubled up. Doubled up on the whitey. Oh, I'm on here and there. Another double hookup. I don't know if I'm gonna get the boat up. Might be doubled up again. No? All right. Let's get that guy in there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. There he is. There he is. Aha! Uh -huh. Are you gonna take it? There we go. Come on, come on. Come on in, stop playing with it. Oh, he got me. He got me. Big hit there, big hit there, come on. Stay on, stay on, is he on? These guys are not getting hooked. Yeah, he's on there, he's on there. Come on up. Got that guy on the electric chicken fish bites, uh, shrimp flavor. All right, fishing buddies, getting out of here. I am not mad about a cooler full of whiting. That is definitely gonna be lunch. You guys, get out there, try your cast. These fall months when it's moving in, we, we are in the beginning of December and it's cold in the mornings. Not too many people are coming out here. I had the whole beach to myself. I do not suggest going to do that in the summer. <laughs> but you know, these fall winter months when the fishing tends to be slow and things like that, you can hone in on your skills getting ready for the Pompano spring run. If you guys are enjoying the videos, hit me a like, hit me a subscribe. It really helps out the rhythm of the channel. You can check me out on Facebook, check me out on Instagram. I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. I'm getting close. So if you've already subscribed, thank you very much. Thanks for the support. If you have not, you're finding value in the content, hit that subscribe button for me guys. It really helps me out. Till next time.